Burke is very competitive. Burke is very introverted. Burke is just always positive. Burke is a super unique personality. Burke Irving is one of the most naturally talented half-pipe skiers today. I think Burke just has a style that is just unmatched. You know, you see a lot of people going through the half-pipe, and then you see Burke and you know it's Burke. I'm Burke Irving, I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Winter Park, Colorado. When Burke was young, he was a handful. Full of energy, he would go 9-0 until the moment he fell asleep. We had a tramp in the backyard, that's all he would do is jump, 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 jump. Getting the kid to read and sit down and do homework was really tough because he just has a really hard time sitting still. So we'd read for a little bit, then he'd go out and jump on the tramp, and okay, ready, let's try some more. Read for a little bit, back out jumping on the tramp. He used to play with G.I. Joes. And he would go out by the river and he would build little ramps and stuff and he would act like they're on skis and just do his run. He's a super homebody. Like when he's here, he just hangs out. He's gonna be, he'll be fishing in the back river here at the house. He fly fishes a ton. He's really good at downhilling. So he's good at everything he does, which is annoying. Well, living like where we are, there's not much else to do. If you don't ski, um, you're gonna spend the whole winter inside. Winter Parks is just a super special place to me. You know, I grew up skiing here. Uh, very grateful to grow up in such like a nice, tight, like ski community, you know, and having the parents that I have that have just like brought me into this sport and basically just given me everything that I have today, you know, and it's just cool just being up here surrounded by these big mountains and just having so many places to go and escape, you know, like ride sleds, hit the mountain, just do whatever, you know, in the summertime, go bike and fishing. This ski town, like, definitely made my sister and I who we are. We're back at the stomping grounds, Winter Park, Colorado, where it all began. Burke and his dad are really close. He is the director of ski patrol at Winter Park, so when he goes up, um, all the patrollers are looking out for him, or, hey, I saw Burke do, do this, he can't get away with anything. Uh, yeah, he can't ski out of bounds, because everybody knows who he is. My relationship with Burke is, uh, we're, we're very close. You know, I like to check in at the end of the day, find out how the day was, make sure nothing went wrong, try to keep it loose, I try to keep it calm and not add any pressure to him. It seems to be a great relationship between the two of us. Ever have to pull his pass? No. no. <laughs> Never had to. I get away with murder. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Not quite true. But... <laughs> my dad definitely influenced my ski career just by helping me like whenever I needed it. When I was younger, he would bring me to every single contest. Like I remember him and my mom both. They would just travel everywhere with me to all the contests and like bring me places, pay the way, you know, so that I was able to do these things and get to where I am now. So if I'm a parent, I would definitely like to do the same thing for my kids, so. He has a really big fan base. And I think that's just because he's just like a fun, spunky kid. And people just love his energy and he's just kind and he's always having a good time and he like talks to all the little rippers. Yeah, Burke has that it factor, that style that you can't teach. And uh, the way he looks at tricks, the way he looks at the half pipe or jumps or whatever, you know, he figures it out and does things the way he wants to do it. I love his approach to life. It's very nonchalant. He's quiet, filled with dry humor, loves to ski, 
and is super passionate about his craft. If it's like just a groomer, he is dipping through the trees and <laughs> doing 360s off of little side hits. It's just all over the place. What's up? We're out here in Copper, my home state of Colorado. Uh, we got Dew Tour. Finals coming up on Saturday, third Olympic qualifier. Pipes running amazing. Uh, everyone's on some insane tricks right now. So it's, yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be a real good final. And my family's coming up from Winter Park, to come support and we got some friends. My uncle might even make it. And yeah, it's gonna be dope to have that support system there to cheer me on. Copper vibe is sick, just with the pipe being right at the base, super dope for spectators. They did an amazing job cutting the half pipe. It's vert, it's good, it's dialed, it's smooth. Um, yeah, we're all hyped on it. And the better the pipe is, the more you are able to do and the safer you are doing it. And it definitely just makes for just a way better competition, just a safer environment for all of us as well. Qualifying and getting ready for the games um, this year, it's a big year. We're excited, obviously. These guys have all competed against each other, but this is a diverse group. Any day can lead to one person or another, and it makes for great competition. I think they all deal with it very well. I think Brooke has a good chance. I think he just stands out, and he's just unique and has that style, and I think the judges love that. I feel like Burke deals really well with the pressure. Um, he's found a way to make that work for him so that he can calm himself down and do what he has to do. Yeah, right now I think I'm sitting pretty good. I honestly haven't paid too much attention to it. Obviously that's definitely on my radar, but yeah, I'm just like skiing as good as I can and just not really trying to put pressure on myself to be like, all right, I need to do this here, I need to do this here. It's more just like, just ski, it's another season, just with one extra comp, really. It's like, that's all it is to me. We got a super dope crew in the pipe. You know, we're all buddies. Like, everybody right now is really fun to watch. Like, there's so many different varieties of skiing in the pipe. I love to watch Noah, for sure, because he's just got that, like, smooth, effortless style going down, just makes everything look so easy and, like, flow is so nice and then obviously Nico with just some big corkathons. I mean it just wasn't my day as far as equipment and all that goes but I still ended up fourth which I'm happy about and I know I got a lot more in the tank and I know what I'm capable of so yeah I feel good moving forward. Yeah, it's really sick to just be competing in Colorado, you know, home state. So much like family and friends out here. It's just, yeah, it's a good scene. I like it a lot. The plan after I'm done with half pipe for the year is definitely get out in the back country and start filming. Not gonna get as much time in this year, but it'd be sick to film like somewhat of a segment. Yeah, just hang and cruise and have like a pretty stress-free rest of the season. Mm -hmm.